Today we're bringing you nine senior living options in West Virginia, specifically centered around Jefferson County. Uh, I think there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to senior living areas or options mm -hmm. in West Virginia, because in Virginia, we are used to having 55 and up communities, which are, which are all over the place, especially mm. in Loudoun County. So with having Jefferson County just a hop, skip and a jump away, people are like, where's all the 55 and ups in West Virginia, especially since like there's better taxes for seniors and things like that, lower mm -hmm. cost of living, and it's frustrating. However, they exist. So please, 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 please don't let, believe anybody that tells you that they don't exist because they do. There's a few of them. And then there's some homes and communities that have primary level living that would feel like you're in one of the houses that you're used to in the 55 now. Mm -hmm. There's definitely replicas in the area. They're just not called 55 and up communities for, you know, just because they have a different... They don't have that restriction. No, so. they don't. The first up for you, we have Sage Place Commons in Shepherdstown, which is just over the line in Jefferson County. It is kind of the classic 55 and up community that people are used to seeing in Loudoun County. And it is indeed 55 and up requirement. It is age restricted. It's there. It's rare, but it's there. <laughs> yes. So does this come up often on the market? Nope. But if you get a realtor that's willing to door knock and send letters to everybody in the neighborhood to see if they're willing to sell their house, like we do, then you just might get lucky. These homes look like some of the options are three bedrooms with around 1,600 square feet mm -hmm. and close to downtown Jefferson, which has all kinds of dining, great community events and really great bookshop. The next option is in Charlestown, West Virginia. It was built in the 70s, though there are some newer homes nearby and they are 45 and up, so a little bit different than we're used to. Yeah, for sure. It's called Tuscawilla Hill. It has a number of villa style homes, which is like a townhouse, but there's only two homes. So you're only attached on one wall. The HOA is only $36 a month. The interesting thing about this is it's only part of the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So Tuscawilla Hill is a bigger neighborhood and not all of it is 45 and up from our research. And then the lots here were pretty nice too. They were a little bit under a quarter acre lots. Mm -hmm. It is hard to beat these prices though, although I'm sure they have gone up quite a bit. When we last had sales here in 2019, beginning of 2020, they were under two hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars for but a we two all bedroom. Know what happened in the market in twenty twenty? So yeah, but still, I'm curious to see where it's at. But yeah, I mean, how much could it jump from there? Famous last words. It's a promising start. <laughs> so maybe if you're looking for senior living options and your kids want to move too, they can live in the single, you know, the larger homes, and you can live right around the corner from them. It would take a quite a team to pull that one off. <laughs> I think we are ready for it. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Next up, you're gonna have to travel a little bit, but we've got Berkeley Gardens out in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia, and that is also 55 and up. So those are villa homes again, but newer than what we were looking at in Tuscawilla Hill. The HOAs were, it looks like a max $100 a month. While it is a little bit more of a drive, there are a lot of really nice attractions in oh, Berkeley yeah. Springs. Oh yeah, Berkeley Springs is fantastic. Yeah, we used to go our, on like a little day trip or overnight there when the kids were really small and we wanted to get away but not go too far because we were too nervous. <laughs> and they have the hot springs there, they've got some different spas. Yep. Now they have like a coffee shop, Teaks. little downtown area. Very cute, great hiking too. Yeah. Great, great forest there. So our next age restricted community in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia is called Morgan Terrace. There were a number of sales in the last few years here but only one of them actually was labeled age restricted. So. <laughs> You have to really know what these communities are to be able to find them because they're not always labeled correctly. So yet another reason to be working with someone very detail oriented who can actually find the inventory, find the neighborhoods and get you tapped in. Now this neighborhood's not huge. There's only about under 20 houses there and the prices are roughly in the 200s range. Mm -hmm. We're looking at $500 a year HOA fee. It's that villa type home that mm -hmm. we've seen in several of our communities here. And if you actually want to see what any of these look like, let us know because we can send you pictures from the previous listings. Yep, we've got a whole document with links to the past sales that you can look and sample. And some of our clients will take this and they'll even do drive-bys to see which areas they prefer it's a great way to kind of explore the area and see if you're still tuned in then be sure to hit that subscribe button or like the video so that you can be notified of our newest content when it comes out now we're going to move on to neighborhoods that aren't a 55 and up restriction but the house style is what you're used to in that typical 55 and up communities that we've been talking about in Loudoun County one of them I drive by all the time it's so pretty it is a community built around a golf course so if you're someone who likes to golf then this is the perfect spot for you. 
The prices range in the 360s to the mid 400s. And HOA is around 50 a month, so that's pretty nice. I know over on the Virginia side, we are used to this higher HOA fees, which is another benefit of being over on the West Virginia side of the state line there is you tend to have lower HOA fees. Yeah, in Virginia, you can end up with 200 up to 1,000 plus, depending on which neighborhood you're in. Another benefit for Cross Creek is it's really close to the Bavarian Inn, and it's right around the corner from downtown Shepherdstown. And they have the Shepherdstown University gym is pretty nice. They have a good indoor swimming pool, which is great for yeah, anybody exercise. can go there. Well, okay. they let my mom in. Next up, we have Locust Hill in Charlestown. Again, if you're looking at the villas, typical situation of what you usually see in 55 up, but. No. 55 and up. Mm -hmm. But great pricing. Absolutely. Like great your pricing. 55 and up. 200 and 300 thousands. Yep. Mm -hmm. Great. Again, not often available. And this is one that we found a lot of sales in. So a little more common than some of the yes. other ones we're talking about. Yes, for sure. Plus, Charlestown is an area that's experiencing a ton of growth, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, they've got a lot of new construction going on. They've got the racetrack there, as well as the casino over that way, which a lot of people enjoy. And Alfredo's Mediterranean, which is amazing yes check it out the next option we have for you is briar run which has the hoa of about 90 dollars a year pricing in two to three hundreds as well the last sales we were looking at were 2019. so again you're getting a little bit further from the state line but with it comes the benefits of 90 dollars a year for your hoa mm -hmm. and you get to live on peter rabbit drive that is or one of the streets. Hannah's Thumper very Drive. There you go. I see the rabbit theme going on here because Briar also would be. Yeah. yeah, that's where I would choose if I was going on street name alone. <laughs> Next up, we have Magnolia Springs. This is a new construction community that is located in Charlestown. Again, not strictly 55 and up, but they have a number of homes that they have built there that are single level, don't even have basement. Like it's clearly aiming for that 55 and up-ish house, but not community. So you mm -hmm. are amongst, you know, you could have a single family next door, detached home next door that's two stories, three stories. And I believe they're still building right now as of 2023. They are. I did look to see if there's any currently being built in this style. Didn't see any. Doesn't mean that they're not going to do it again. We mm -hmm. aren't quite certain what the builder is has planned. Sometimes they release things in phases, so mm -hmm. anything's possible. Or they could be reaching the end of their build. Yeah, they it seem like they're close years. to it. Yeah. yeah. This is another one I drive by all the time, so yeah. <laughs> get to watch and see how it goes. And you're really close to Charlestown, which, as we mentioned before, you got the casino, you got the racetrack, you got all kinds of restaurants, yep. you got lots of bakeries, $3 tacos at Ortega's Tacos. Love that place. <laughs> I care a lot about food. As does everyone. <laughs> all right, and our last non-55 and up community, but very much main level living, is Bonaire Village in Shepherdstown. These were built in the 90s, right around 1995. They're really charming. They have brick front exteriors. You look at it and you're actually like, that was built in 95? That looks more current. It really it does. Brick looking front, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also very close to downtown Shepherdstown. Great amenities, lots of events with the college right there. So these homes are around 1,300 square feet for most of them. A little more if you have an end unit and you're gonna love the HOA fee. 275 a year. Can't beat it. <laughs> the only way you can beat it is no HOA, but then you probably have a much larger yard to deal with and well on septic. So if you enjoyed this video, please go back and watch our four reasons to move to West Virginia. So if this was helpful for you, and if you're curious to learn more about these kinds of senior living options in West Virginia, and if you have any other places you'd like us to investigate, then drop us a comment or send yeah. us a message. I love investigating. <laughs>